Hi guys, welcome to Learn Maths tutorial brought to you by Direct Tutoring. Today we're going to have a look at adding and subtracting thirds. So if we take a quick overview, um, a third is a irrational number, meaning that it cannot be represented by a fraction or a whole number, and is usually represented in the form of a square root sign. Rational numbers, on the other hand, can be expressed as two or fractions like a quarter, two over five, etc. However, when you add and subtract thirds, similarly to fractions, you must have the same value inside the square root sign. So what we mean by that is, as it stands, these thirds cannot be added together because this value is different to this value, so it's not possible to add them together. So there is a set of numbers that you must try and incorporate when solving the thirds, and these are the numbers that have complete square roots, i.e. square root of 4 is 2, square root of 9 is 3, and so on. So if we take a look at question number 1, it asks us to add and simplify root 12 plus root 75. So again, what we have to do is, in order to add these, they must have a number in common. So we need to find a number which features in both of these and also incorporates one of the values that we've seen in the table previously. So the numbers that I'm going to try is 4 times 3, which would give us the 12, and then I'm going to try 25 times 3. Because what that will allow it to happen is when we separate them, we will get the square root of 4, which we can do, and we get the square root of 25, which we can do, which leaves both the square root of 3 on each term. Now that means that we are ready to add the values, only the values outside of the square root sign. So that means that the final answer to this question is 7 root 3. And then if we take a look at a slightly more complicated example, um, it asks us to add and simplify, instead of this time having two terms, we have 3. Now, this one looks slightly more complicated, but there is a big clue with this one. And it lies in the root 5, because this cannot be simplified any further. So in order to add the other two, or take away the other thirds, you must incorporate 5. Because they must contain root 5 at some point. And hopefully, the other number, when we incorporate 5, will be one of the key values that we need to use. So the numbers, of course, we're going to have to use 5. So we'll do 4 times 5 for the first one. But we will take out the 6 here. We'll take the 6 away just now and only focus on the third. So that's why I've put it into a double bracket. And then likewise with this, keep the 2 out first and then deal with so 9 times 5 and that will give us the 45 when we still incorporate the root 5. And this just stays as it is. So when we simplify that, that will, the root 4 will give us 2 and the root 9 will give us 3. So then what we can do is reincorporate this number, so the 6 and then the minus 2, back in to the third. So what happens is this will only multiply the value outside of the third. It doesn't have any effect on the value inside the third. So that's why these numbers are colour-coded in green. So that is where the 12 came from, the 6 times 2, and the minus 6 came from the minus 2 times 3. So now we have the same value under each of the three terms for the square root sign. So that means we simply add the numbers outside together. So we do 12 minus 6 is 6 plus, and now there's a 1 here. So that would be plus 1, so we get 7 root 5. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Leave any comments in the comment section below, and we'll see you in the next video.